What's interesting is that a lot of research on jobs that women have or, or, or lose, as the case may be, depending upon changes in labor force conditions, often are misanalyzed. There are many cases, I remember the New York Times, for example, had a, made some claim that women were opting out of the labor force, where in fact they were simply losing their job. So w one way to think about it is, why is there labor market segregation? Why are women disproportionately in some jobs compared with others? Do we have a good reason for understanding that? And how does that interact with social norms, with the ability of women to compete on an equal footing in certain types of occupations? And are occupations welcoming to women? There was some research um, that looked at for example, occupations that had um, equipment that women had to use that was really designed for men's bodies, like you know, whether it's climbing telephone poles and the distance between rungs or, or whatever. So if occupations are structured so that they don't fit with social norms and with women's bodies and lives, we need to think about what is the source of the problem and can we simply reduce it to women's choices or can we look more deeply and consider what are the social, cultural, structural factors that influence women's eligibility for certain types of jobs? I, I think that it's hard as an economist to predict the future. Um, politically, there's so much going on that's quite scary.